Sharad Hadin, also known as Israel Law Center, is an Israeli-based civil rights organization fighting for the rights of hundreds of terror victims. By seeking to bankrupt the terror groups and grind their criminal activities to a halt, Sharad Hadin gets them where it hurts. For more details, we're joined now by Sharad Hadin's founder and director, attorney Nitsana Darshan Leitner. Mrs. Darshan Leitner, thanks for being here. Thank you for inviting me. So, from what I understand, from what I've seen, uh, Shalot Adin essentially has a variety of different projects, from like targeting uh, terror regimes by the internet, countries like Iran, South Korea, um, to, to targeting specific organizations like Oxfam, um, the Bank of China. Uh, what is, can you give an example here of what is your primary focus? Well, our goal is, as you said before, bankrupting terrorism, one lawsuit at a time. And right. what we do is going after terror organizations, state-sponsored terrorism, and banks that provide financial services to terror organizations. Um, in the course of our cases, we put restraining orders against banks to the extent that no bank can uh, provide financial services to a terror mm -hmm. organization uh, or to Islamic charities that identify the terror organizations. You cannot raise funds for organization, which is a designated one through the banking system. Um, no bank agreed to operate in terror zones like Gaza, like South Lebanon, because these are terror zones. This is why you see them smuggling money into Gaza through the tunnels in suitcases. And all these restrictions cause the terror organizations a big harm, because they need to bring hundreds of millions of dollars. Terror organization is like an operation. They need to uh, support the population, they need to buy ammunition, they need to buy, uh, build tunnels to smuggle right, ammunition right. and stuff. If you stop the money, you can stop the flow of the terrorism. It's essentially a peaceful way, if you want, of taking care of terror. Absolutely. We're going after countries that support terrorism, like Iran, Syria, North Korea. Um, and then there comes a question of how you collect. Because right, you may say, right. what does Iran care, <laughs> right? Uh, well. They do care because uh, we are able to put our hands on bank accounts that okay. have frozen Iranian uh, money. We have assets in the United States and elsewhere that we are seizing. Just recently, we uh, put a lien on a building in Manhattan uh, yeah. in Fifth Avenue. Wow. Uh, and last week, we uh, grabbed even the internet of Iran. We uh, put a lien on uh, ICANN, right. uh, which administrated the uh, web to um, uh, try to seize the domain name that uh, Iran is using, the one that ends with IR suffix. Right, right, right. You're clearly, obviously, all these terror organizations are still connected by way of financial links to uh, concerns all around the world, which makes it possible to catch them. Absolutely. Can you give me an example of a, of a success story of yours? Well, so far, we're able to uh, get judgments for over $1 billion. Uh, these are against the Palestinian Authority, Hamas, Islamic Jihad, uh, PLO, uh, Iran, Syria, North Korea. And we actually collected, we got into our hands more than $120 million that oh, went wow. to the terror victims. Okay. Uh, and these terror victims are, where are they? Mainly in Israel they or in America? Not, you know, it's, it's around the world. Uh, we represent Israelis, we represent Americans, we represent even people who uh, mm -hmm. uh, are, have been, uh, rights have been violated through, um, um, you know, Christians that uh, just visit uh, Turkey and uh, were kidnapped in uh, mm -hmm. uh, terror organizations uh, sponsored by Syria, um, represent the Chinese Christ, the, the priest that uh, was kidnapped by North Korea. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It's really a very wide variety absolutely. Of, uh, of situations and cases. Um, will we see more terrorism battled in the, in the courtroom, I mean, based on, on your example? Well, you know, terrorism did not come to a halt, unfortunately. Right. Not in Israel, not elsewhere. And we know that, um, you know, just recently the uh, three uh, kids that were kidnapped and, and got uh, murdered in Israel, uh, they have... All, also, them have a, a legal right. They right, have a claim course, to uh, to uh, to sue. Um, we actually uh, started a campaign to uh, deport mm -hmm. those who are responsible for this kidnapping and all the uh, leaders of the Hamas terror organizations out of the country. Mm -hmm. We want them simply mm -hmm. out, and we're gathering mm -hmm. a lot of people to come and join us in a high court petition that we're going to file to the Supreme Court in Israel. Um, unfortunately, there will be a no end because the yeah, terror organizations think that they finally found the key that will destroy the Jewish state and will drive us from our land, and we don't have any other choice mm -hmm. but to fight back. We right. do what governments cannot do. We are private people. Governments cannot file other lawsuits against banks or other states. Right. We are private people who represent 
private people. So can you give us an, um, how long does a case like this take? I mean, when you, for example, take on a huge bank like the Bank of China, or you take on a, an organization, or you take on a government, whatever it may be, how long yeah. does it take to actually get these people to court? Well, you can bring them to court immediately. <laughs> 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 the problem is, uh, as any other type of litigation, sometimes it takes years. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you get a default judgment. If, well, if for instance, Iran doesn't come up to court, North Korea or Syria, um, and then you can collect it. You luckily find an asset, or sometimes a compromise. Yes, they do that. Right. When they know that they are going to pay hundreds of millions of dollars, they prefer just to go and pay you a settlement out of court. Um, but sometimes it takes uh, more than a decade, sometimes a dozen years to uh, to get a, a dozen judgment. dozen years, 12 yes. years. And, um, wow. And the terror victims have to be very, very patient, but they are, you know, they are the players in this whole uh, of game, and they are fighting back. And in the end of the road, they are the uh, people who refuse to be victims anymore. They want to fight back. We give them the stage, we give them the way to do it, and we get give justice. Them the tools, so to speak. And this is how justice gets done. Okay, well, attorney of law, Nitsana Darshan Leitner, thank you so very much for joining us. Uh, we hope to hear more from you. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much.